One of the biggest things that we learned is that all kids, and I'm speaking from LIMS classrooms to uh, our, our highest achievers, all kids need to be challenged. And they learn best when they're challenged and when they're thinking. So developmentally appropriate practice has gone through several iterations. Where it is today is basically saying that children learn best not through textbooks, not through worksheets, not through memorization, but through doing and through being challenged. Hopefully you remembered to do your homework, which was just to look at this sheet of the seven learner outcomes and familiarize yourself with these seven learner outcomes. The definitions and explanations of these were on the back of that sheet. Your table, I want you to put together what did you see in that video that aligned to those seven survival skills? What did you see in the video? That time when we're using the hub, every classroom is going to be sharing a space. So how do we do that? Uh, well, there we definitely could just dump you in and it's, you know, trial by fire. And some of you will be hurt, some of you won't, and some of you will be torching the others. And... But we thought, you know what, let's go to our best examples here at Fort Bragg. If it says interview, and some of you are tired of hearing me say this, interview a veterinarian. Okay? If you ask a first grader, no interview a veterinarian. I can go off the line. <laughs> but how do you figure out what you want to know? How do you develop the questions that are going to give you that information? So those are little mini skills that are necessary to complete that piece of the study that will lead to the presentation at the end.